What is up everyone? This is Totally Random back here with another video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and join my channel and make sure you hit the bell for notifications. But anyway guys, we got another video about Star Wars or specifically um, Kelly Mary Tran. If you do not know, she played Rose Tico, you know, the very famous and probably the most hated character in all of Star Wars history um, behind Jar Jar Binks. And you know, she apparently went off of social media after bullying, uh, some anti-bullying, you know, making fun of her character, uh, online bullying specifically from her Instagram, but, you know, there was never really any proof about it, is what I've heard. I've seen so many people go out there, I watched, you know, I watched all the main Star Wars channels, you know, the, like I said, Geeks and Gamers and, uh, Karmic Goddess, Pro Secrets, you know, World Class Bullshitters, all those guys, um, and a lot of the other smaller ones too, you know, and they were all saying how... I, this so-called bullying, you know, it's wrong bullying in any shape or form, it's wrong, but they're like, where's the proof about it, you know? I didn't really look it up. I don't know if it's real or not about, I don't look on her Instagram, you know, and see who bullied her or not, you know? I saw people, I think people were criticizing the character she played, not her specifically, because Ryan Johnson just threw her in there and just, and like, that's not Ryan Johnson. Ryan Johnson should be the one that should be getting bullied, you know, and made fun of and whatever calling him, because I mean, he freaking wrote her character and made her like the most disliked character in Star Wars you know I complete I did not like Rose Tico for one bit she just did nothing absolutely nothing in the movie she didn't help anyone in any way she saved Finn from uh dying even though he was going to sacrifice himself to help the resistance but you know she stopped that because she says love's what's going to save the world <sighs> no it's not no it's not not in Star Wars. We don't need that type of stuff in there, okay? But um, anyway, we got this article from The Guardian. Guardian's another garbage to your website, in my opinion. Right. But um, this is the words of Carol Kelly Mary Tran. She says and about her experiences with her bullying or whatnot and being a minority, you know. Um, Their words seem to confirm what growing up as a woman and a person of color already taught me that I belonged in margins and spaces, valid only as a minor character in their lives and stories. Okay, and this is where it's just gonna keep getting better and better. Um, SJW is, is very evident in this stuff. Um, I had been brainwashed into believing that my existence was limited to the boundaries of another person's approval. I had been tricked into thinking that my body was not my own, that I was beautiful only if someone else believed it, regardless of my own opinion. I had been told and retold this by everyone, by the media, by Hollywood, by companies that profited from my insecurities, manipulating me so that I could buy their clothes, their makeup, their shoes in order to fill a void that was perpetrated by them in the first place. Okay, she was brainwashed. That's, she's getting, she's not getting brainwashed, she's just... She's having to live up to that Hollywood sort of expectation where it's like anti-everything, um, diversity is good, all this stuff, feminism, everything, you know, everything, basically anything on the right is wrong, terrible, sexist, ra racist, all that, you know, and you know, that's how Hollywood is. They're just in that little phase. They live in the little bubble that they think they're all right and everyone else is wrong, you know, they, if you're not, if you come into their bubble and tell them they're wrong, they just block you, you know? But she says that she was tricked into thinking that my body was my own, that I was, basically the media was telling her what to wear. Dude, the media is telling you what exactly you're telling us, that you're being bullied and all that. You know, the media is saying, yo, it's not good to be bullying, you know, diversity is amazing, all this stuff's good. Um, anyone who's against it is bad, you know, they're racist and sexist and a bigot and all that stuff. But um, how is the media, like, the media is giving you a platform to share that. If that's your opinion, I don't believe this is your honest opinion. I believe you're just having to say this because, you know, it's Hollywood. But uh, they're not, you're not tricking you, you know. You know exactly what you're doing in Hollywood. Um, all right, and this next part, you know, it's just garbage in my opinion. All right, um, I know that I now belong to a small group of privileged people who get to tell stories for a living Stories that are heard and seen and digested by a world that for so long has only tasted, well, that has for so long has tasted only one thing. I know how important that is and I'm not giving up. We've only tasted one thing? Bruh, I've 
seen so many different movies from like all the way from Gone with the Wind all the way to what was the last movie I saw? Mission Impossible. Dude, movies are so different. You're not tasting only one thing. You're di you're diving into different genres, different director styles, different uh, characters, uh, different genres. As I said before, you know, it's sci-fi, romance, comedy, all that. Like, uh, she belongs to now a small group of privileged people, okay? You know, <sighs> these... And uh, also in the article it says, after Tran deleted her post this summer, a pro-white male hero group took credit as they continued to rally against forced diversity. Um, you know, as I said before, it's not good to bully anyone regardless of who they are. Uh, you should be bullying Ryan Johnson because he created the crap character. R Kelly Mary Tran was just having to play it, you know. Uh, but And it's nothing to do with her. She was just doing what Ryan Johnson was telling her to do. And what Ryan Johnson was telling her to do was terrible and awful. And, you know, Ryan Johnson just knows straight away, yo, this, I'm about to get a lot of crap pulled on me because I just destroyed one of the greatest franchises in um, history in Star Wars. And... Kelly Mary Tran is going to be one of those people who were criticized because her character was stupid and pointless and didn't serve any purpose in the movie. If you had done something with her that she served a purpose, we would have been fine with it. You know, the diversity wouldn't, no one would have cared. Everyone would have been like fine with their character. Like I can use Spider-Man Homecoming as an, a great example of diversity that's pretty, that's done pretty well. You know, I mean, you don't notice it. I only noticed it after like, my brother, he was pointing out the little club meeting they had. He was like, oh, they have all the different races there. And they got white, they they got the Chinese, I mean, I don't know, Asian, Indian, uh, the black, the Hispanic. You know, they've got everyone in there. And I was like, oh, I didn't really notice it until that. Because it was a good movie. But in The Last Jedi, when you got a crap movie and you got these SJW stuff all filled in there, you're just like, you're going to criticize it. You're going to criticize the whole movie, then you're going to start criticizing that. No, my first thing, my first reaction to the Last Jedi, Last Jedi was this movie's horrible, and the plot hold and the way it was done was terrible. The stupid little Snoke dying, the dumbest scene. Luke Skywalker drinking milk was so dumb. Mary Poppins and just the ending was just so stupid. It was just like, this is dumb. And then you know afterwards, then the SJW stuff hits you, and you just slam it. You just slam the movie with all that stuff, saying. This forced diversity, this forced feminism, this female empowerment, it's all stupid. It is not even told properly in this. No girl is going to want to look up to Rey if Rey has no sort of backstory or having to work. It's showing that females don't have to work to earn anything because Rey doesn't earn anything. She's just able to do force, 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 and force. But, uh, you know, anyway, guys, Kelly Mary Tran has spoken up about her... Bullying, which I mean, I don't know if it's true or not. I I don't know. Maybe you guys know, cause like I'm, I've seen so many people. They're like, yo, I looked it up, but it's just the media saying it's bullying, you know. But they have not showing any proof or anything. Um, you know, a white pro male group has taken credit for it, but you know they'll probably take credit for anything, you know, that like this. Um, but the forced diversity, all that stuff, the SJWs, the feminism, you know, it's stupid. It's dumb. Um. We don't need that stuff in our movies. I honestly, I believe more than ever that it just ruins movies. Um, we just need movies with good plots, good characters, uh, good stories. But uh, anyway, guys, that's the video. Let me know your thoughts down below, whether you agree with me or not. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Most importantly, hit that subscribe button and join my channel. And make sure you hit the bell for notifications. And until next time, guys, be amazing.